Hi, beautiful people of the Most High. God, all praises to the Most High. Hope you're doing great. Hope you're doing lovely. Hope you're staying prayed up. Hope you're being strong. I'm I want to apologize to let you people know that you know I haven't been doing my videos. This video is about from five months ago. God had me put together and I just never did it because I've been going through a lot of spiritual warfare. I've been, you know, doing, you know, healing from a lot of stuff that I've been going through. So I haven't been on the YouTube, but I love you guys. Nothing's changed. You're still in my prayers, but I just wanted to let you know that I will be back being more consistent with my videos. Um, and also, I'd like to tell you something, but I think I'm going to put it in the next video because I don't want to take away from the lesson. Well, beautiful people of God, let's get into it. This is more, um, it's, it's a teaching and it's actually a word as well about mocking. And as you can see, like people are getting judged for mocking God's prophets, God's seers, God's people, people who believe in God, people who are walking with the Father. So he wants to talk about the mocking, and then I'm going to read the scriptures and we're going to get into it. All right. Galatians chapter 6, verse 7. Be not deceived, God is not mocked. For whatsoever a man sows, that he also that shall he also reap. Now, Proverbs chapter 14, verse 9. Fools make a mock at sin, but among the righteous there is favor. So foolish people, they mock at sin. They're like, yeah, you could cheat. Yeah, you could lie. Yeah, you could steal. They make it like a mockery, like it's a joke, like it's nothing to them. But you had to know whatsoever God is not mocked. So even though they're mocking the sin that they do and mocking the evil that they're doing to people, God is not mocked because whatever they sown, they will reap. Whatever evil you sown to somebody, you will reap that. You understand? And whatever good you sown, you will reap. But these people are the ones who mock doing evil to others. And this is being judged. Now, Proverbs chapter 17, verse 5, Whosoever mocks the poor reproaches his maker and he that is glad glad at calamity shall not be unpunished so you see people who mock people for being poor mock people for being broke mock people for not having it you know they reproach god because when you lend on to the poor you lend on to god and he blesses you that's in another proverbs when you lend on to the poor God, you, you, you're, you're lending on to God and God blesses you. So helping the poor is only a good for you. It's a blessing for you because God blesses you. When you give to the poor, you're lending on to the Lord and you get a big blessing from God. But the people who mock the poor, they reproach God. And people who are glad at calamities, when when things happen to people, when people, you know, they're kicking people when they're down. They're not going to be unpunished. When people see people kicking people when they're down, glad at calamities happening in people's life, they will not be unpunished. Do unto others as you would want others to do unto you. They wouldn't want someone mocking and laughing at their calamity when they're going through it. And they wouldn't want anyone to be glad and happy for them going through hard times. Now, Doctrine and Covenants, chapter 45, verse 49. And the Lord shall utter his voice, and all the ends of the earth shall hear it, and, and the nations of the earth shall mourn. And they that have laughed shall see their folly. So the people who've been laughing at the prophecies, laughing at the prophets, laughing at the seers, laughing at the men of God, laughing at the women of God, laughing at the children of God, you know, them people, they will see their folly. Folly is foolishness. They'll see that they were actually a fool and what they were doing was foolish. They shall mourn so that their laughing will turn to crying. And calamity shall cover the mocker. So 
and the scorner shall be consumed, and all that have watched for iniquity shall be hewn down and cast into the fire. So you hear that? And the Lord shall utter his voice, and all the ends of the earth shall hear it, and the nations of the earth shall mourn, and they that have laughed shall see their folly, and calamity shall cover the mocker, and the scorner shall be consumed, and they that have watched for iniquity shall be hewn down and cast into the fire. Now Job chapter 13 verse 9, it is, a, it is good that he should search you out, or as one mocks another, do you so mock him? Is it good that God should search you out is, is the question? Or one man mocks another? Is it good for another man to mock another? Do you so mock God? Now Job chapter 13 verse 10. He will surely reprove you if you do secretly accept persons. So people who be secretly accepting persons... You know, God will reprove them. Secretly friends with your enemies, God will reprove them. Job chapter 12 verse 4. I am as one, what did Job say? Job was a righteous man. Job said he is, is I am one as mocked of his neighbor. Job said he was mocked of his neighbor who called upon God. And all he did was call upon God. He answered him. The just upright man is laughed to scorn. So Job's telling you he was a man. He was mocked of his neighbor. And all he did, he was calling upon God and God answered him. The upright and the upright man is laughed to scorn. People who are upright are laughed to scorn by people who are what? Mockers and scorners. Evil people. Now Galatians 6 and 7. Be not deceived. God is not mocked. For whatsoever a man sows that he also he also shall reap. Now Ether chapter 12 verse 26 verse 28. This is important. And when I said this, the Lord spake unto me, saying, Fools mock, but they shall mourn, and my grace is sufficient for the meek. So if you're a fool, that's why you mock people. It's because you're a fool. You don't understand. You lack understanding. Because you don't know if that person's going through a test with God. But you failed your test with God, mocking them. And when I and when I said this, the Lord spake unto me, saying, Fools mock, but they shall mourn, and my grace is sufficient for the meek, and they shall take no advantage of your weakness. And if men come unto me, I will show unto them their weakness. So if you go to God, he will men go to God, women go to God, he'll show them their weakness. But you see, men, men are made to be strong. So that is another video. I had to talk about man's strength, but that is for another video. So God is going to show men their weakness. I give unto men weakness that they may be humble. And my grace is sufficient for all men that humbles themselves before me. For if they humble themselves before me and have faith in me, then I will make weak things become strong unto them. Behold, I will show unto the Gentiles their weakness, and I will show unto them the, that faith, hope, and charity brings unto me the fountain of all righteousness. Doctrine and Covenants chapter 63 verse 48 to 59. For this is the day of warning, and not a day of many words. For I, the Lord, am not to be mocked in the last days. Behold, I am from above, and my power lies beneath. I am over all, and in all, and through all, and search all things. And the day comes that all things shall be subject unto me. Now J Jacob, the book of Jacob, chapter 6, verse 8, to, to verse 13. Behold, will you reject these words? Will you reject the words of the prophets? Will you reject all the words which have been spoken concerning Christ? After so many have spoken concerning him and denied the good word of Christ and the power of God and the gift of the Holy Spirit and quenched the Holy Spirit 
and make a mock of the great plan of redemption which has been laid for you? Know you not that if you will do these things that the power of redemption and the resurrection which is in Christ will bring you to stand with shame and awful guilt before the bar of God. And according to the power of justice, for justice cannot be denied, you must go away into the lake of fire and brimstone, whose flames are unquenchable, and whose smoke ascends up forever and ever, which lake of fire and brimstone is endless torment. O oh, then, my beloved brethren, repent ye, and enter into the straight gate, and continue in the way which is narrow, until ye shall obtain eternal life. O oh, be wise, what can I say more? Finally, I bid you farewell until I shall meet you before the pleasing bar of God, which bar strikes the wicked with an awful dread and fear. Amen. Now the book of Al Alma. So this mocking will be judged. Those who mock shall mourn. Now Alma chapter 5 verse 30 to verse 36. And again I say unto you, is there one among you that does make a mock of his brother or that heaps upon him persecution? So do you know someone who mocks their brother or sister and heaps upon their brother and sister persecutions? They persecute their own brother and sister? Well, woe unto such a one, for he is not prepared. And the time is at hand that he must repent or he cannot be saved. Yeah, even woe unto all you workers of iniquity. Repent, repent, for the Lord God has spoken it. Behold, he sends an invitation unto all men, for the arms of mercy are extended towards them. And he says, repent, or and I will receive you. Yeah, he says, come unto me and you shall take part of the fruit of the tree of life. Yeah, you shall eat and drink of the bread of the waters of life freely. Yeah, come on to me and bring forth works of righteousness and you shall not be hewn down and cast into the fire. Cause remember your works, your works is either you have works of righteousness or works of unrighteousness. You remember you gotta have a tree that brings good fruit. And if your tree don't bring good, a tree that doesn't bring forth good fruit is hewn down and cast into fire. Your deeds. Yeah, come on to me and bring forth works of righteousness. And you shall not be hewn down and cast into the fire. For behold, the time is at hand that whosoever brings not forth good fruit, or whosoever does not the work of righteousness, the same have cause to wail and mourn. So people who don't want, who never produce good fruit, you know, they're, tr you know, they, they haven't been planting good seeds. They've been th planting bad seeds and been getting thorns and thistles, bramble bush and tumbleweed. <clears throat> and over there looking at the righteous, planting good seed, getting good fruit. Well, them people who have not been producing good fruit and have not have any works that are righteous, the same are the people who are going to be wailing and mourning. Those are the people who were mocking people for doing good works. They were mocking people for planting good seeds. Now, this is a story God wants you to read in Ether. It's, it's, it's going to be quick. It's not too long. It's from Ether chapter 7, verse 23 to verse 27. And I'm going to finish off this video. And, and also, in the reign of Salu, there came prophets among the people who were sent from the Lord, prophesying that the wickedness and idolatry of the people was bringing a curse upon the land, and they should be destroyed if they did not repent. So you see people's idolatries and their wickedness, whoredom and witchcraft, that brings a curse upon the land, and they should repent. Because it brings destruction. And it came to pass that the people did rival against the prophets. So when the prophets were warning these people that their wickedness and idolatry is bringing a curse on the land. And they would be destroyed if they didn't repent. Those people were rivaling against the prophets. 
and mocked them and did mock them. And it came to pass that the king, King Shulu did execute judgment against all those who did rival against the prophets. And he did execute a law throughout all the land, which gave power unto the prophets that they should go wheresoever they would. And by this cause, the people were brought on to repentance. And because the people did repent of their iniquities and idolatries, the Lord did spare them. And they began to prosper again in the land. And it came to pass that Shilu begot sons and daughters in his old age. And there were no more wars in the days of Shilu. And he remembered the great things that the Lord had done for his father in bringing him, them across the great deep into the promised land. Wherefore, he did execute judgment and righteousness all his days. So if these people turn to repentance, God will have mercy on them. But the mocker, the mocker will be destroyed in these days because God is not mocked. God is not mocked in these days. I'm going to read Doctrine and Covenants again, chapter 63, verse 58 to 59. For this is a day of warning and not a day of many words. For I, the Lord, am not to be mocked in the last days. I am from above and my power lies beneath. I am over all and in all and through all and search all things. And the day comes that all things shall be subject unto me. So fools mock at sin. But remember God's grace is sufficient for the meek. So humble yourself before God because he will reprove the mocker. Calamity is overtaking the mocker. Let me, the, and calamity shall cover the mocker, and the scorner shall be consumed, and all that have watched for iniquity shall be hewn down and cast into the fire. So foolish people make a mock at sin, but don't be deceived. And this is the message, beautiful people. And I do have some more videos. Stay blessed.